we can see some of these words. They are mufradat, singulars. They are jamu, plural. So when we look at kalimatun, it is singular. Kalimatun is plural. Kolamun is singular. Akulamun, plural. Madrasatun, singular. Madarisun, plural. Talibun, singular. Tulabun, plural. So here we are supposed to come up with another one, like let's say, Imoratun. That is to have something of masculine, as we have Talibun, or let us say, to Talibatun. So here we are going to quickly see how the plural are formed and what format we should follow. You know, we have uh, two types of Jamu. We have the Jamu Salim and we have the Jamu Taksir. Jamu Salim, for instance, Muslim, Muslimun. Muslim, Muslimun. Muslimatun, Muslimat. So they are tech theory. You just make it to be more. But when we are talking about the, uh, this is Jamu'u Salim. When you are now talking about Jamu'u Taksir, it means a broken plural. For instance, when you have Kitabun, you don't say Kitabuna. As you have Muslimun, Muslimuna. So, kitabun, you have kutubun. Rasulun, you don't say rasuluna, you say rusulun. Kalamun, you don't say kalamuna, you say akulamun. So, you can see that kitabun, kutub, they are broken. You have to break the singular for you to get the plural. Sometimes you have to take away something from it and sometimes you add. For instance, look at Kitabun. Kitabun has how many letters? Uh, Four select. letters. Four. Kaf, Ta, Alif, Ba. These are the letters in Kitabun. You understand? No. Yeah. Kaf, ta, alif, and ba. For you to form this plural, you say kutubun. What happened in kutubun? How many letters? Kaf, ta, ba. You have three letters. So the singular is kitab, four letters. Kutubun is what? Three. Uh, three. Ta, libun. How many letters? Four letters. Ta, alif, lam, ba. That is four letters. The plural is to labun. How many? To, lam, alif, ba, four. But there are five because that lam has shadda, mushaddada. And that lam that has shadda represents two lam. One is having sukun, the other is having the fatha. You can see that Talib is four, to lab is five. So you add something. In Kitab and Kutub, you take away a letter. In Talib and to lab, you add a letter. So Jamu Taksir, it is a broken plural. You can see that we break the singular to form the plural. You break it by taking now with something as in Kitab and Kutub, or you add something as in uh, Talib and to lab. Now, so for that, for those, if you want to make the plural of Jamu uh, Salim, Muslim, Muslimun, Mushrik, Mushrikun, Kafir, Kafirun, you, as you have Kafir, Kafirun, there are some plural that you can make it Jamu uh, Salim, you can make it Jamu Taksir. For instance, Kafir, you can say Kafirun. And you can also say kufarun. Kafir, kafirun, kufarun. Talib, talibun, 
tulabun. You understand? And the likes. Yes. In the case of kalimatun, kalimatun, you form the plural by saying kalimatun. In the case of kolamun, you say akulamun. In the case of madrasatun, you say madarisun. In the case of talib, you say tulabun. So these are jamur taksir. When you want to form them with adjective, you want to add adjective to them. For instance, kalimatun, jadidatun. And we say that when the you have sifa and mausuf, they must follow one another. If the sifa, the sifa must follow the mausuf. If the mausuf is singular, the sifa should be singular. If the mausuf is plural, the sifa should be plural. If the mausuf is mudakkar, masculine, the sifa must be masculine. If it is mu'annath, the sifa must also be mu'annath. So we must note this. Kalimatun, jadid is that word, which means nu. But here you say kalimatun, because this one is mu'annath, so jadid must turn to mu'annathu. That is why you have jadidatun. Kalimatun, jadidatun. For instance, you can say kitabun jadidun. Kitabun jadidun. Kitabun jadidun. As you have kolamun jadidun. Likewise, you have madrasatun jadidatun. Then you have talibun jadidun. You can see talib is mudakkar, jadid is also. Mudakkar. Then, this is the singular. When you now go to the plural, the plural of goiru atin, of inanimate objects, most of the time, the plural of inanimate objects will be in the form of mu'annas will be in the form of mu'annas. When it is inanimate object, that is when it is not human being. Any object which is not human being, their plural will be in what? In mu'annas form, singular. You know jadidatun is mu'annas and it is singular in nature. Kalimatun, jadidatun. So if you have a plural, mausuf, which is plural, you have mausuf, which is plural, and it is not human being, the adjective, the sifa that we come with it should be in mu'annath singular form. Kalimatun. Kalimatun is not a human being. So you say jadidatun. Kalimatun jadidatun. Kalimatun jadidatun. Kalimatun jadidatun. Kalimatun jadidatun. Here you can see it is plural. It is inanimate. Then it is also mu'annas. Kalimatun is also mu'annas. So you say kalimatun jadidatun. But let's go to column. The plural of column is aklam. And aklam is non-human being. So the sifa that we follow it should be mu'annas mufrod. So you say aklamun jadidatun. Aklamun jadidatun. Madrasatun jamila, eh, jadidatun. You know madrasatun is mu'annath, jadidatun is mu'annath. But let's go to the plural. Madarisun 
Jedidaton. Because we said that something that is not human being, the plural should be qualified with a sifa that is mo'annath, mo'front. So jadidatun is mo'annath, mo'front. Madarisun, jadidatun. I hope it is clear. Let us come up. Are you with me? Nam. Nam. Let us come up with other things which are not human. Let us bring out the other new words and we look for adjective to qualify them. So, um, Majalatun, Jadidatun. Majalatun, Jadidatun. So, when we say Majalatun, Jadidatun, the plural will be Majalat Jadidatun. So it will remain the same jadidatun. We don't say jadidat. Jadidatun. Then another one, mirwahatun, jadidatun. What is the plural of mirwahatun? Mirwah. Mirwahatun. You know the meaning of mirwahatun? No. Now mirwahatun means fan. Fan. Merwahatun. Fan. The one that roll in the room. Fan. F A N. Oh. Fan. Merwahatun. 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 Have you seen it? That is it on the screen. Merwahatun. Mirwahatun. Have you seen the writing? Left. Mirwahatun. You have not seen it? Mm -mm. I wrote it. Look at it, the shots. Mirwahatun. Uh -huh. Mirwahatun, the plural is Marawih. Look at the plural. Marawih. Marawih. So we can say Mirwahatun, Jadidatun, and we say Marawih, Jadidatun. Marawih, Jadidatun. Kitabun, Jadidun. Kitabun Kodimun Kitabun Kodimun. Then the plural of Kitab is what? Uh, kutubu. Kutubun Jadidatun. Kutubun Kodimatun. Old books. Now, we can see. So, Kutub Jadidatun. Now, let us go to human beings. Human being is Talib. We say Talibun Jadidun. Talibun Jadidun. Then for the other one, we say Talibatun Jadidatun. Talibatun Jadidatun. Then when we now say the plural of Jadid, is judud for human being judud so we say to labun jududun to labun jududun talibat jadidatun the plural of the of the female will remain the same jadid jadidatun talibat jadidatun and for talibat we can also say jadidat we can say Talibat Jadidat, but we can say Talibat Jadidatun. Now, so this is what we have to note when we are talking about the plural. Can you come with other words? 
So is it only the masculine that takes the the yes uh, the broken the broken plural plural okay the masculine yes, exactly human being. No. Uh, for human beings. So. So uh, you could have mm -hmm. Mohandesun. With a uh hair. -huh. Mohandesun. Jadidun. Mohandesun. Jududun. Mohandesun. Jududun. Um. Yeah. Um, so you can say Katibun Katibun Jadirun Kutabun Jududun. You know Katib is writer. You can say Katibun writer, so you can say Kutab as you have. Kafir, kafirun, kufar. Kafir, kafirun, kufar. Katibun, katibun, kutab. You understand? Now, barakallahu fikum. So that is the end of that. May Allah make it easy.